Dr. Rhonda Patrick here. Today we're going to discuss growth hormone and IGF-1 and their trade-offs between performance and longevity. Growth hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland and acts on the liver to produce IGF-1. Many of the growth promoting effects that are associated with growth hormone are actually mediated by IGF-1. Growth hormone and IGF-1 enhance performance. And here's how. IGF-1 is anabolic in that it enhances the growth and repair of skeletal muscle. It increases lean muscle mass while decreasing adipose tissue. IGF-1 acts as a neurotrophic factor in the brain by increasing neurogenesis. That's the growth of new brain cells. There are a couple of ways you can effectively increase your growth hormone levels. Strenuous exercise has routinely been shown to boost growth hormone levels. However, we can become acclimated to, to strenuous exercise and not release as much growth hormone over time. Sauna therapy, a 30-minute sauna session, has been shown to cause a rapid and robust boost in growth hormone levels. There is an age-related decline in growth hormone and IGF-1 levels that has been shown to cause muscle atrophy as well as neuronal loss. However, so why wouldn't you want to boost your growth hormone and IGF-1 levels? Now here comes the trade-off. In mice, in worms, and in flies, decreasing IGF-1 and growth hormone levels leads to a 50% extension in lifespan. Well, that's mice and worms, so what about humans? Well, polymorphisms that are associated in the IGF-1 receptor gene, which decreases the IGF-1 levels, is associated with the longevity in centenarians. Reducing the expression of IGF-1 levels have been shown to increase the expression of genes involved in stress resistance, particularly oxidative damage. There are some downsides, including stunted growth, reduced fertility, uh, brain atrophy and muscle atrophy, and diminished sex drive. So all of these things will make you feel like you're living longer, which in this case is a bad thing. There are other natural ways you can increase the expression of genes involved in stress resistance without having to deprive yourself of growth hormone. Hormesis boosts the expression of antioxidant genes through exposing yourself to something that would otherwise be toxic. In fact, this is the mechanism of action of catechins and polyphenols. Catechins and polyphenols don't actually have classical antioxidant activity. What I mean by that is they can't scavenge a free radical like vitamins C and E can. Catechins and polyphenols are found in things like green tea, dark chocolate, turmeric, blueberries, and other purple pigmented fruits and vegetables, as well as red wine. So there you have it. There's a trade-off when it comes to growth hormone and IGF-1. My advice? Boost your lean muscle mass and increase neurogenesis through strenuous exercise. Increase the expression of your genes that are involved in stress resistance by consuming your favorite polyphenols, along with a healthy, balanced diet, and leave the caloric restriction 